to now show you how to do some simple loops and control LEDs in the Pickaxe Programming Editor. Right, so in a loop, what we want to have happen is for our program to be able to start at a certain point, go through our programming statements, and when it gets to a particular point, loop back up to some point and repeat those commands over and over again. Now what we have in the pickaxe to do that for us is the do and the loop. The do is placed at the beginning of the statements that we want to be uh, have looped and we place the loop after the statements that need to be looped. So whatever is in between here will be looped an infinite number of times. Now if what we're trying to do is control an LED that LED would be turned on using the I command. This will take it from a logic low to a logic high. We need to specify the port that the LED is plugged into. Now remember an LED requires a current limiting resistor. So let's say that that is plugged into A.0. So if all we did is run this particular program we would turn on port A.0, our LED would light, and we'd pre repeat that over and over again, and the LED would stay on in an infinite amount of time. Now, if what we want to do is have that LED go on and off, flash, then we need to leave it on for a certain period of time and then turn it off. So to create that delay, we would put in a pause. The amount of time that will be... Uh, delayed is specified in milliseconds, so a one second delay would be a pause of 1000. Then to turn off that LED we would use the low command and we're controlling the same port so we would say low A.0. We would again want to pause because if we did not our LED would go on, would stay on for one second, it would go off but immediately it would go back on. We would not even notice it going off. So we need to also specify the amount of time that we want that LED to be off. So let's say it's going to be an equal amount of time. So another pause, 1000. So if we put this program, the do, followed by the high A.0, pause 1000, low A.0, pause 1000, then the loop, and we then downloaded this to our microcontroller and ran it, our LED should flash on and off. And just for some additional information, what we're talking about is if we have our port, and let's say this is A.0, we're talking, we're talking about our LED being connected. So we would have, in this case, since we want to go on when it goes high, we are going to have the port source voltage, so we will have it arranged in this fashion. So this is our LED. This would typically be about a 330, 270 ohm resistor. So you'd have to identify which port on your microcontroller is A.0, wire it in this fashion, put this program in and run it. Alright, that concludes on how to create a simple loop and turn on and off an LED in the Pickaxe Programming Editor.